Welcome back to part 2 of Games Glitch's Elite Dangerous Guide for all newbies on how to obtain your first anaconda or at least this is the path that I took and I'm more than halfway there. You know, you guys, if you have your own path, please feel free to follow it. But where we left off in our last video, we currently have acquired around 400k. And this is, of course, our sidewinder where we have left off in our previous video. Now, once you find a station, I am in Cremain uh, in a Waller terminal where you can obviously continue to phase two which this video is about what you need to do now is decide the following either a you want to update your uh, sidewinder to best of your abilities or to update to the next ship please note that if you do update to the next ship and you sell it you're gonna lose about 14k because you always lose 10 percent but 14k is nothing because that's literally one kill or you know or less than that if you get one of the bigger ships you know like a python or an aconda if you get one of those that's minimum 70 plus to all the way up to 200k in one shot guaranteed so i'm gonna proceed with my way with updating the ship because uh sidewinder is a little too pansy and i want like something better so with having in mind that we made about 411,000, you know credits well, let's go to and get a better ship. Now, we're gonna go to shipyard and go one over and buy ourselves a Viper. Please note that there's, please note that there are several things um, about a Viper. You could either buy, of course, a Viper or you can, of course, buy yourself an eagle you know it's diff definitely at this point in time it's personal preference uh i just go with uh the viper you know because it's honestly it's personal preference here you could go with this ship or you could go with uh the other ship it's honestly depending on what kind of a player you want to be and i'll honestly leave it up to you because your main goal is to well obtain 2 million credits and then i'll show you why now you will purchase yourself this viper now purchase yourself a viper and there you go you have bought your new ship now let's jump to the next stage currently we started with if i would not be mistaken we started with 100 411 000. that's what we got in bounty now this ship was about 142 so i would say if my math is not wrong we made about we have about 289,000 to go now that means you have 289k to equip your ship please note that when you sell your equipment back you get 100 of the value back meaning if you bought a space drive for i don't know let's humor you 5 million when you sell that drive back guess how much you're gonna get 5 million back so it's quite very simple uh your ship updates you should always dump all your money while you're saving up the 2 million as i mentioned earlier you should constantly update your ship to make it better 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 why you can kill faster faster and faster you can take on more fights if there are no cops around faster and faster you're more likely to survive longer and longer and so on so you need to within your own best interest to constantly keep updating the ship so let's go back in so we have 289k if my memory serves me right now we're gonna go to outfitting and as you see here well, let me explain this because everybody is a newbie this number right here is what you currently have equipped the uh the cl uh, the class and that's meaning you have class two that means you have a bigger thing that you could put on so so the bigger the class the bigger the equipment meaning uh if you have so for example if you have a class 5 ship like a, a ship that has to have a class 5 engine on it and you put a class 3 on it even though class 3 is rank a it would not be able to boost 
or if it can it won't be able to do it right and the energy recharge is basically the ship is too big so you want to keep things to their appropriate size so now i'm again i'm in waller terminal here you could get quite interesting many things you know to update yourself now we have 289k to work with you know you don't want to go way too expensive uh, I would recommend st sticking with laser weapons for a simple fact that you don't have to, uh, well, recharge them. Now, unfortunately, this station does not have the lasers that I'm looking for. The current ones that you have still have are actually pretty freaking good. So, you know, you don't really got to worry about them unless you want to and, you know, that's your prerogative. Um... Which also brings me to a great point where I'm going to show you in a moment a site where no matter where you are, you type in whatever equipment you're looking for or you select it by category. You type in your current location, select the distance of light years that you want to look in within and it will tell you where you can buy any kind of gear, a ship, uh, you can buy equipment, modules, armor, weapons whatever else because you have to understand not everything is sold everywhere so sometimes you have to move from station to station looking for particular things so that aside um what i would recommend if you're going with this ship and if you're going with my tactic on trying to make as much money as quickly as possible i would uh, would recommend updating several things a i would recommend updating the shields uh, they're one of the most important things, well, because, let's be honest, you're constantly getting shot at. As you can see, we have a D-Class, I mean, I'm sorry, I apologize, E-Class. Then we have a D-Class, uh, you know, that is, what you call it, is slightly better. But if you want, because we do have 289k to spend, uh, we should go with something more appropriate. Uh, I think it'd be a little much to go with B at this moment. So we're gonna go with, well, D. And leave ourselves with 205k. Oops, I'm sorry. What am I saying? I moused over the wrong one. Ah, uh, shield generator. There we go. We're gonna... I apologize about that. We got 50... Whoa. Hello. 56k. You know... So we're going to have uh, 233 uh, k left. Now, which brings me to another important situation. Make sure that they're, that your deploy and available don't come too close. I personally like leaving about 1 megawatt. I don't know. People tell me it doesn't do much. I personally think it's just for mental reasons. If you have 7 here and 8 here, you're good. Otherwise, you might be pushing it too much and, you know, I don't like it. But in any case, we got now ourselves a better shield generator. Also, I would recommend now having a better power plant. But please also note that beam cannons, lasers types, work extremely well on shields. What works better on holes, aside from, of course, well, missiles, are cannons. Like multi-cannons, blah, 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 cannons. But, you know, cannons run out of ammo and so on. So, it's all up to you. Uh, also, please note what gimbal means is that it's auto-target as long as it's in front of you and you have it targeted uh, and it's, you know, engaged. Uh, they will basically over always face that target. Uh, unlike these are fixed where it will be two points in front of you where you have to maneuver your ship. And the third one, you would have... Uh, let me see if they have turreted. Turreted is actually quite nice, but turreted you can't initiate the combat with them. For you to have a turreted tower shoot, you would first need to shoot with another weapon and will shoot. Well, for argument's sake, let's say for example that we have to now put in ourselves two cannons. Let's say we'll just go with something uh, cheap, you know, 214k. Put them on a different firing thing. As you could see, I have plenty of power, which allows me to, you know, that's 28k. When I when I don't want to push it too close, we'll just assume we hit 400 something. 
you know this means that it would ask you to put them on a two firing group and there we go and now you have created yourself a decently more powerful shield with a ship i mean i'm sorry with of course much better shields and everything now please note that you will you have aside from losing 4k from investing into this wonderful ship you have 14k i mean you have not lost anything as when you sell it technically if you decide to keep it permanently because you like to have fun with it and you really enjoy it then you haven't lost anything at all because you never ended up selling it back next stage from this point on is for you to accumulate 2 million in bounties so let's get that going please return to our cremain 2 resource points find yourself wonderful ships and start slaughtering also please note that you could create groups and invite your friends and help to have them help you kill things and tag things multiple things at the same time which will, uh, will allow you to kill things faster but you will end up splitting the money between your friends that aside it's a lot more fun now for those who are familiar with this site and for those who aren't uh you will well for those who are you will instantly recognize this site and would appreciate this as you could see here this site covers a lot of well star based games and so on but the one that you're interested in is elite dangerous here you could find anything you want for example let's go to equipment let's go to weapons I don't know. Now, I accidentally ended up clicking back. Whatever. Let's take railgun. There we go. As you could see here with Seoul, it's already demonstrated to you that there is within vicinity of Seoul, but that's irrelevant. Now we type in cremate. And as you can see here in Kinney star system and the Kinniak orbital 12.85 light years away class 1D you could buy railgun fixed if you expand your search as you could see now all of a sudden you could buy it in more than one location as you can see the price is always identical it said you always pay the same thing and you always get the same amount back when you sell it which is quite amazing and yeah what you call this is how you could find any kind of a th thing that you would want here's your ships let's say you want to buy like a type 6 then you click of course where to buy and boom they show you everywhere where this ship could be currently bought please know this works for any ship any module any upgrade so you could at any given moment find anything you need this is one of the sites that i'm going to introduce you to guys it's going to be extremely extremely helpful to you with no matter what you do instead of posting on our forums or wondering or anything this is the one for you I will also leave it in the description below so you guys could click it as you could see it's uh, you could see the link right over here you know so without further any further ado let's continue farming the two million that we need 
very thank you good for watching my guide on elite dangerous and i hope you found it helpful and also, entertaining as i was mentioning the earlier guide by clicking and the i demonstrated the video. The if there is no link one will be posted very soon how the please don't forget works. to click subscribe this and like on the money video because how much it really you helps carry. out my channel unfortunately I'm and in, um, allows me to continue to produce good content also don't forget to check out the links in the description below to my twitch.tv where i stream live all the time and to the other sites such as my web page ludumnexus.com and to my steam group where i have giveaways all the time like with type 7 thank you all again and be safe in the chaotic universe of elite danger let me just show you